Hello everybody. Wanted to do an easy video here on how to do like a basic camp build. This took me like two hours now. Of course I have a lot of knowledge doing this. I've built a lot of people's camps. I've built a lot of my own. I've built in Fallout 4. Um, it's a little trickier in Fallout 76. But um, for a beginner I just wanted to show you quickly how to do this. Now when you're deciding the place to build, just make sure you know you know where the fast travel spot is. Um, I did like a cliffside house here. Make sure you're not spawning on the cliffs when you first plant your house, right? Because it's just annoying. You might have to re-fast travel there or whatever. So you can see I got a pretty decent place here after the fast travel. So it's like, okay, I'm going to be spawning here. So kind of, you know, move around a bit. Um, figure out what I want to do or what you want to do. And uh, the first thing I would suggest starting with is a foundation. It just kind of uh, squares it off. Um, I don't know. I've always done it this way. I feel like this is how you're kind of supposed to do it. Um, and you can build stairs off of this and anything else. That's why I say it just starts with a good foundation. You can go bigger than I did for this house too. This is a fairly small camp or house, whatever you want to call it. Uh, could definitely go a little bit bigger. Um, I actually moved that spot. You're going to have to like do your own little tweaks, which you're going to see in the video. But yeah, you can see I'm fast traveling again here just to see where I'm spawning to make it convenient. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to be walking up into my house just from there. So good to keep building. That's that's key. Trust me. You don't want to, you know, build a beautiful house and then, you know, spawn on the side of a cliff, you know, two or three times before you spawn where you want to. You want to just spawn there and you're at your house. Trust me, I've learned that the hard way. I really have. In fact, the house that I replaced this one with, uh, or the, the, the house I'm replacing this one with is was a cliff house I was on the side all the time. So, yeah, so once you have your foundation, you know, like I said, you can do bigger than this. You know, maybe find where you're going to put your front door. Um, I don't like to put it too close to the stairs, you know, I like to have a little bit of a porch out front here because I usually put vegetables out here or whatever, you know, for cooking, which I'm going to show as well. And this will be a bit of a learning curve. Just try to watch what I do. Um, I do speed it up. You can slow the video down on YouTube. There is a setting for it. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> like I said, it's going to be a bit of a learning curve. You know, build your little front area. You can see, you know, I just couldn't get this to work here. So I just removed it. That's all you have to do. Don't don't sweat the small stuff. It'll all come together. You know, maybe that'll lead to building something a little bit better. Like, that's why I say it starts with the foundation. And then you just start building off of that. And it just turns into something wonderful. Again, with building the walls, it can be a little frustrating. It's not too bad once you learn how to do it. If it's your first try, just... Yeah, it's going to take a bit with the walls. You can put ones with windows in. You can do half pieces. Um, you can do quarter pieces, kind of. It, it does get confusing. Um, I like to build a secondary floor in the house usually, too, because I'll put a balcony off to look at the view where I can go put my barbecue and, you know, when I'm cooking, I'll have that to look at. And then you just use the regular flooring for that so you still have the room underneath. You more than likely won't be able to connect another foundation like type block flooring anyway. And besides, you want to go under it. And you can see how finicky it is until you get it exactly the way you want it. But you will. It's just a little tricky. Um, I would focus on the floors, you know, building however many floors you want before you go ahead and put in all the walls and the roofs. The walls are fairly easy. Um, the roof can be a little bit tricky, which I'm going to get to as well here. Um, this glass uh, building set here isn't really part of the base game. You would have to get this from Minerva, I think, at this point. It was a scoreboard reward at one point. So, But there's so much stuff that you can get from the Atom Shop that's probably like it. Um, that's why I'm trying to stick to the basics here. But I did want to do that glass, and you can see I did two half pieces because the full piece has the, uh, the metal at the bottom which I didn't want to restrict the beautiful view that we have here so and that was a reason why I did put the glass over there um, you might not have it you might not be able to get it it's just 
the way I wanted to showcase it. Now the roofing, you can see how I do the quarter pieces here. You don't need to do these. You can just do a flat roof. Um, and it'll pretty much just let you put a wall up there too. Um, you might have to remove a flooring piece to get a wall piece in, or sorry, a flooring piece to get a wall piece in, a roofing piece to get a wall piece in, stuff like that. But I wanted to suggest if you're going to do the quarter pieces so you do have like that point on your house so it kind of looks, you know, symmetrical, I guess, for a house anyway. Not that, you know, there's any certain way to build a house anymore. Um, just have your roof flowing one way. You don't want to have, you know, the point coming one way and then the point of the house coming another way. It will not work out. There will be a piece that you will not be able to put in eventually. You see how the wall or the roof down there before this bedroom pieces I'm putting in here are the same direction as I'm putting these roof pieces in right now. That just makes it so much easier and I'm gonna show you what could happen and why it does make it a little bit easier. We're gonna get into that as well. Um, I like to put like plants at the top here. These ones are actually perfect for it, just so you you know you can guide yourself down the stairs a little bit better. Makes it a little bit easier. Little tricks like this you're gonna pick up on your own, everybody. Like, really, it's just building the shell and then you doing whatever you want with it. You have to make it your own, right? Always starts with a door too. I knew that I wanted to make that my balcony, so I put a door there. Now, <laughs> if you're on a cliffside, be careful. You're definitely going to want to put some defenses up there, or fences, whatever you want to call them. Um, these are basic ones that you can get. I think if you go to White Springs, you might be able to buy them off a vendor. Or just vendor hop, you will find them in the game. It's in the base game. Um, these are, you know, a barricade that basically isn't, that you can get from the Atom Shop. You know, like I said, you kind of just have to figure that out on your own and what you want to put out here. But I would suggest something that stops you from walking off the edge, because it will happen. Especially if you turn your back to it and you go to build like a roof piece and you can't get it in, so you back up a little bit, you'll fall off the cliff, trust me. Unless you're building in a power armor, and even then, it's going to be annoying. Like, you can put glass pieces out here. I like those ones specifically, too, because then you can still see the view very nicely. And this is going to be the hardest part, everybody, is building this shell of the house. Decorating it is honestly fun. Like, I, I find that a lot of fun. You'll see I decorated this house all up, at, well, as you saw at the beginning of the video. Um... Yeah, I, I find that part fun. Building the house can be a little bit tedious, but not too bad. You know, if you've never built a house before, you'll be able to get this shell done from watching my video in probably an hour or so. And, and that's not really that bad if you're just looking for something basic. It's, it's going to take that bit. And then I would assume you'll have fun decorating it. Maybe you're burnt out after you've, you know, built all the roof and the wall and the flooring. So just take a break. Go do whatever you want to do. Maybe play a different game, you know, whatever it takes. And then the next time you come back in here, you'll probably want to, you know, spiff it up a little bit. You'll want to put the stuff in there that you've earned from, you know, the score or the daily ops or, you know, rare items maybe you want to display. There's endless possibilities. The camp basically says a lot about you, I think. Now you can see why the roofing can be a little bit tricky. Now, if you stick to what I said and keep the roofs all going the same way, because, you know, when you build an upper floor, you basically have two squared areas, right? You have one that's above the other, but they're still attached, right? But it's two sections or one section or two half sections higher, if that makes sense. Like, you see, I'm putting one there and then two. It's that much higher than the other roof, right? Because where my floor is in this room is where the roof is in the other room. Now, what I'm saying is, is those two different roofs you want to have going the same way. And then there will be ways around stuff that's going to slow you down here. This was probably the stairs that screwed me over. It was because it was above the stairs, believe it or not, this corner piece would not go in. So just moved it back and boom. And once you've done all that, everybody, you know, you have your shell, basically. In a nutshell, this is your shell of a house. And that's pretty much all you need. You don't need anything huge. You can just basically, you don't even need a roof and walls, honestly. Um, you could just put all the necessities in. Once again, I fast travel just to make sure I'm going to a good place. Now, 
like I said, you don't need you don't even need the walls and the roofs, but there are some necessities that I'm going to get into that you definitely want in your camp, like a barbecue. Um, you might not be able, you probably won't be able to get the one that I have there, but there's more plans for them. And these plans you pretty much get from the beginning of the game doing the quest. Like, you'll get a plan for Tinker Tom's workbench and an ammo bench, or sorry, a, a weapons bench. You want all of these. Weapons bench, armor bench, Tinker Tom's, a power armor chassis so you can work on your power armor. Or a power armor station for your chassis, sorry. Um, that, that's for making alcohol. You don't really need those. Um, it's another quest. I haven't even done it yet. Um, I wouldn't suggest turrets. They really don't do much, and they take up a lot of build space, as you can see right there as I was showing you. They take up tons of build space. I highly recommend not having them. Very rarely will your house get wrecked from enemies, and then you just go up to your little projector workshop thing there and fix it. It's not It's not really hard. Um, you're definitely going to want a power generator. I highly recommend that one. I've never gone over the use of 100 power. Um, it's always worked for me. I suggest this one. Not just the little ones, because then you might run out of power. And you might need to find the plan for that as well, but it's all in the base game. 99% of the stuff I'm showing you right now is in the base game. Now, I wanted to show you a little trick on how to get the power into your house. Now, this is the basic walls that you will get for building. Now, if you put conduits on either side of the window and run a wire through it, like I'm doing here. Conduits are basically ways of attaching wires, and you want to run wire from your uh, your generator right there. So sometimes it can be tricky getting the power into your house. So I'm just showing you here's an easy way to do it. And then you can actually replace the wall with, you know, a full wall without a window. And it'll just be glitched through the wall. As you can see right there. It's, it's beautiful. And then you have conduits in your house. And you might want conduits in your house so you can have lighting. Or maybe you want to hook up a popcorn machine inside your house. You're going to have to get power inside unless you put a generator directly inside. Which I don't really like to do. I think this is the proper way to do it in my opinion. But as you can see, the lights work as if how close the conduit is to them. If the conduit is not close to them, they will not work. And they're still not working until you hook them up. So you need to have a direct line right to the uh, generator. If I didn't have that other wire going through the wall, then this light still wouldn't be working. So just a little getting into the electrical. It can be a little bit tough with the electrical. If you need help, let me know in the comments. Um, another necessity, I think, is you should have some sort of vegetables at your camp. You know, um, whether you're making cranberry relish or you're making, uh, oh, what's the uh, carnivore one there? I can't think of it, but you need tato for that one. So I would just recommend getting used to having a couple vegetables at your house. I would recommend definitely having some purified water at your house. There's different ways to get it, but once again, this is the base stuff that you will be provided with in the early ons in the game. You will have to connect them to each other, and they also need a power source. Another little trick here I want to show with the conduits. If you are very, you know, slow and take your time, you can make them go onto the corner of walls so it's easier to wrap your wires around the walls. I didn't do a really good example here because I didn't need to. I think later on in the video I'm going to show you a better example when I'm hooking up the vendor, which is another necessity that we're going to get to. And the food, if you can't put in those blocks like I had, you know, you can put food in the ground anywhere. Um, this is probably the best water source, in my opinion, is the vintage water cooler. If you can find the plan for it, buy it. Um, you can put so many of them in your house. You can put, you know, as many as you want, pretty much, almost, and get as much water as you want. But I just have one or two, usually. Um, a sink, you will need to get this from the Atom Shop, or I think it is... 
a reward from the score or I'm not even sure but if you can get your hands on a sink or something that you can collect dirty water from even if you're near a lake that would be fine that will provide you dirty water because you're probably gonna maybe need that especially if you decide to be a bloody build um, as you can see from drinking water there I got a disease so another really good item that I would suggest in your camp is a symptomatic uh, you get that from doing the daily ops I have them in my vendor. If you need one in the comments, let me know when you're on PlayStation. I'll hook you up. Popcorn machine you have to get from Crater. Highly recommend uh, the popcorn machine. You have to get it buying gold bullion from Crater. And yeah, we're going to go through some other stuff here. I was like, what am I... I'm like, should I have deleted this part of the video? <laughs> but no. So... I'm just going to get into some of the other stuff here. Resources like the turbo fertilizer thing it isn't bad. Um, it'll help you grow your crops faster. But if you have enough, you don't really need it. Um, another thing you would want is an ammo machine. I highly recommend having an ammo machine. It's just nice coming home collecting ammo. You can set it to whatever ammo you want. And you get that from Crater as well from Gold Bullion. You have to complete the Wastelanders quest. Um, Collectron, another thing I highly recommend having. Um, put it close to your door, preferably, or like your, you know, front door or wherever you spawn. That way, just when you spawn in, you can grab it very quickly. Um, another thing you can do is there's these piles of like aluminum or um, junk piles that are near your house as well. You can build a resource uh, plant near them, but I don't think they're they're really that amazing you know you only get like so much lead and so much acid from them and it's kind of tedious picking them up that's why i just go with the junk finder bot whatever you want to call it and uh the ammo machine and that pretty much provides me with the junk um the ammo converter there too it was an early scoreboard reward i don't even know how you get it at this point maybe someone in the comments could let me know and i'll pin it for you um but you definitely want the ammo converter as well and i will link a video on how this is a good why it's a good reason to have it and selling ammo is a good thing as well And we're pretty much, we're getting down to it now, everybody. There's there's not a lot of necessities. Um, a bed I would highly recommend as well because, you know, sleeping in it for 30 seconds, as you can see here, will give you a 5% bonus XP for an extra hour, which is, it's great, right? You know, why not? Just go sleep in there for 30 seconds. When you're an early level, it'll help you rank up a little bit quicker. Why not, right? Um, a guitar like these things you're gonna have to figure out like if you want them in your camp like if you play this acoustic guitar along with a lot of other items you can get in your camp like you can get an arm wrestling machine they all give you certain effects like the weight bench gives you extra strength for an hour um, this reduces or um, regenerates your AP at 25% uh, faster I think as I'm gonna show here yeah AP regen plus 25, right? So little things like this, I wouldn't really say are necessities. You're going to figure out as you build your character what you would want in your house for stuff like that. Um, stash boxes are another thing you're going to want to have. Now, you can put the regular blue one down or pretty much anything else that's under stash box. Like, I like to do the safe, and it'll be a stash box. Like, any of these things under stash boxes. And definitely put a junk stash box. I think you don't even need Fallout First to put that down anymore. Display is another thing. Like, hey, if you want it in your camp, then throw it in your camp. Just be in mind that some of the things, like mannequins especially, take up a lot of camp budget. You can see that bar just going up. Like, watch it drop now. Just keep in mind your camp budget. Same thing with floor decor. Um, it's plants, you know, like this thing will give you plus two luck for an hour if I'm not mistaken. Um, things like this you're going to have to decide to really put in your camp. I just wanted to run through some of the extra stuff a little bit just to give you an idea of, you know, the things you can get and stuff that you may or may not want to throw into your camp. I like to do shelves and put some plants on it or whatever, you know, whatever you like to do. Uh, vendors, yes, you definitely want a vendor at your house, easy way to make caps, uh, you can put ammo in it, I have a video, like I said, I'll link that in the description, that, you know, 
goes into the vendors a little bit more. Once again, I fast traveled to the house just to see where I am, right? Because when you are selling stuff, you want to make sure that the people spawning at your camp will easily be able to find your vendor. Um, maybe put some stash boxes near it for them out of convenience. Um, I actually put an open sign down there. So after later in the video, see, and an arrow just pointing over there. So it just makes it easy for everybody to find, you know. Now, this is what I was talking about with the conduits. Now, you use these to run wires around, right? My power generator is over there. I need to get power to my vending machine. You don't have to have power to it, but if you want it lit up, you do. So as you can see, you can kind of just wiggle, woggle it on there, whatever you want to call it, until it goes to the corner. And then it's just so much easier to go around with the wiring, right? Like if you put it flat on one side and flat on another rather on the corner, then you might not be able to connect the wiring. And yeah, like wall decor is another thing. You're going to have to decide if you want that or not. If you want to make it look like Santa Claus is coming through your wall, then you do that. You do you, man. <laughs> um, I could recommend the decontamination, a decontamination shower. Um... It's If you're a bloody build, you're not going to want it. You might annoy some people with it. Um, and it is costly to put it down. And you could just put rat away. And, of course, you also want a shelter because of the daily challenges. Um, you don't even really need to put anything in it. I would just have it for the daily challenges. So people can get daily challenges and so you can get them. And then once you're done all the basics and, you know, you've had your house for a couple of weeks, I'm sure it'll start to look something like this. Like, you're going to be like, yeah, I'm going to throw that plant there. I'll throw my open sign there. I got my robot walking around. You know, you want some popcorn? I got some popcorn by my front door. Whatever you want to do, you're going to start to do it. You know, I put a nice little gate around my, my gourd here, some trees, some scarecrows. So, you know, to keep the mole rats out. Those, it doesn't help with the mole rats, just you know, just being stupid. <laughs> um, you know, change the flooring, added some chairs. Yeah, simple as that, everybody. Um, I hope this helps a lot of you build your first house. I would love to hear in the comments if you need help. Like I said, let me know in the comments and I will get back to you as fast as I can. Thank you, everybody, so much for all the support you've been giving me lately. And yeah, like I said, I hope this helps you guys build your first camp. Have a great day. Take care.